Today on Motors, Chris finishes up the exterior of the Jeep Wrangler JK in part two of our exterior work. Alan takes you to Bondurant's Racing School for an exclusive interview with legendary racer Bob Bondurant. Then, Chris and Alan take the Shell Pioneering Performance Stage at the SEMA Show. So, buckle up and hold on tight, because Motors starts now! Hey, welcome to Motors. Now in this episode, we'll complete the aftermarket upgrades on our 2014 Jeep Wrangler. And in the next episode, we're gonna take it off-roading and really put it to the test. But let's start by installing something completely different. These aftermarket headlights that feature LED color-changing halos with devil eyes and HID projectors. HID projectors are a complete headlight replacement kit for vehicles with seven inch round headlights and each pair includes the bulbs, HID ballasts, and wiring. First, use a Torx T15 driver to remove the four screws which hold your factory headlights in place. An optional Bluetooth controller allows you to remotely control the color of the halos from a smartphone app. Since these lights are so customizable, we got ours fully loaded with a halo, angel eyes, and the ominous devil eye, which required quite a bit of wiring. Follow the instructions, take your time, and test everything out thoroughly before tucking your wiring away and installing your new lights. Turn on and off the halo, angel eyes, and the optional red devil eye light in the center. We hooked them both up to the S-Pod we installed in an earlier episode. Now it goes without saying that these lights are for off-road use only, as the only legal colors that you can use on the front of your vehicle are white and amber. So illuminate carefully, kids. The amazing thing about these lights is that they are fully customizable at their website. You can choose the colors, the shroud type, and the color temperature of the bulb, and they even have lens etching now with one of their designs or your own. Now here's a close-up of that projector with the devious devil eye turned on. Customize your Jeep's headlights today by going to HIDprojectors.com. After installing the headlights, I attacked the taillights with ZLEDs, an LED taillight conversion kit for the Jeep Wrangler JK. Installation is as simple as removing your stock light with a Phillips screwdriver and installing the new ones. Their conversion includes the installation of two parking brakes and turn signal LED panels and reverse light LED panels. You can ship your stock lights to the company or they can provide OEM lights at an additional cost. Visit ZLEDlights.com for more information. Hey, how about an easy way to increase horsepower, torque, throttle response, and your exhaust note? Well, that's exactly what the AFE Power Catback Exhaust System does. To keep the exhaust gas flowing smoothly, we also installed the AFE Jeep Y-Pipe. This eliminates some of the dead space that can cause turbulence and hinder flow that formed collectors are prone to produce. Installation is a breeze, as all components are supplied for a hassle-free installation with no modifications necessary. All that's needed are a few hand tools. Of course, we used our Craftsman C3 impact driver to move things along quickly. Be sure to retighten everything after 50 to 100 miles. For more information on all their products for the Jeep Wrangler, visit afepower.com. Rare Parts manufactures an improved tie rod and drag link for the Jeep JK, offering additional strength and adjustability over your stock parts. They come with all the additional brackets and parts that you'll need. These are where they're both located on the front of a Jeep Wrangler. Now begin by removing the nuts for both the drag link and the tie rod. We used a small sledgehammer to force the bolts out. Now if we were reusing these, we'd put the nuts back on the end and hit the nut, not the end of the bolt, to avoid damaging the threads. Remove the rest of the drag link. Now you'll need a pickle fork to separate the link from the pitman arm. If you don't already have one of these, you can pick one up at your local automotive tool shop. With the drag link out of the way, remove the tie rod as well as the steering stabilizer shock. Once again, we used our Craftsman Persuasion device. And now that we've completely removed the old parts, install the new rear parts drag link first, then the tie rod. It's a good idea to measure the length of your stock parts first, then install. However, they are fully adjustable once you have them installed. It's also a great idea to take your Jeep to an alignment shop when you're all done, just to make sure everything is dialed in properly. Oh yeah, don't forget to reinstall your stock steering stabilizer. Rare Parts includes the bracket and U-bolts for that.
Finally, grease up your Zerk fittings and take your measurements for final adjustments. Don't forget to get a front end alignment just to be on the safe side. Now while we're at it, we also picked up Rare Parts Very Trick dual load carrying ball joints and new axles from RCV Performance Products. As you can see, they're quite an upgrade over stock. We put our Jeep up on a lift, a rare occurrence on motors, just to make our life a whole lot easier. This can definitely be done on jack stands though. After removing a stock axle, remove the stock upper and lower ball joints, then install the new axle seal. Install your new upper and lower ball joints and then the axle. The before and after difference is dramatic and now some of the load from the lower ball joint is carried by the upper ball joint, reducing stress and extending its life. For more information on the drag link, tie rod and ball joints, visit rareparts.com. Speaking of axles, how about we outfit our Wrangler with some much better looking differential covers from Riddler Manufacturing. Begin by removing the old cover and draining out all the old gear oil. Clean off the old gasket and prep the new cover with RTV. For an in-depth installation on differential covers, visit our website for a full episode. Install the new Riddler cover and do not forget to fill it back up with gear oil. Riddler death covers feature a lifetime guarantee, recessed fasteners and fill plug, a recess for the locker actuator on Jeep Rubicon axles, and our CNC machine from High Grade Iron. For more information on all their differential covers, visit RiddlerMFG.com. In our next episode, we take our Jeep Wrangler off-roading, so in preparation we installed an off-road LED lighted whip from Smart Whips for added safety. Available in 4 or 6 foot lengths, all Smart Whips include a quick disconnect design for a safer and more secure mounting option. Its O-ring seal keeps out dirt, sand, water, and moisture. It features an unlimited number of colors controlled entirely via a smartphone app over Bluetooth. Every color strobes, stays solid, or fades. Using the app, you can choose or create a custom color, control the speed of the strobe or fade, and more. What's cool is that no matter what mode you're in, hitting the brakes will turn it a solid or flashing red color. Now if you get stuck or need help, you can use the integrated SOS distress signal. Also available is an auxiliary input wire for a white light which can be tied into your vehicle's reverse light or can be used with a dash switch to provide additional lighting when you need it most. Both of these features work whether the whip is on or off. It's made out of fiberglass and a polycarbonate tubing, which gives it incredible strength and flexibility to withstand the forces of nature, large flags, extreme bending, and of course, your crazy off-road driving. You can also rock a dual LED whip setup and sync them up so that they both use the same mode and color at the same time. The Smart Whip has an easy four-wire connection, and they also have accessories and more. Visit smartwhips.com for the ultimate LED light whip and tell them I sent ya. Oh yeah. Now would you believe that there's a driving school out in Arizona that has over 100 current model Dodge SRT cars from Charger and Challenger Hemis and Hellcats to Viper ACRs? Well, it's called the Bondurant Racing School and Alan headed out there to get an exclusive interview with legendary race car driver Bob Bondurant along with his wife and Bondurant president Pat. Together they discussed their partnership with Dodge and Bob's love affair with the Viper ACR. I just took a, a drive in the ACR. Wow, what a car. So fast, and I love it. Wow. It has those big tires on the rear, and it sticks so well. I could go flat through that corner, never could before. Oh my God, I just love it. Let me tell you how much he loves that ACR. We get Bob out there in the ACR, and some of the other instructors have been taking it around, and then of course King Kong walks up and everybody just flocks, right? Because the boss is here. Well, he'd done lap after lap and grin, but what was priceless was we kept flagging him in. Come on, Bob, you gotta come in. The sun's going down. And he's like, just one more lap. Well, that was three laps, four laps, and it was just absolutely ridiculous. Finally, the way we got Bob Bondurant in off of that track was he ran out of gas. <laughs> Bummer. That's how we did it. <laughs> Bummer. Oh, my God. It's the most fantastic race car, the way it's built, the way it handles. I mean, it, it, it's amazing. So he says that night, head on the pillow, sweetheart, if I'd had that car in Le Mans, Oh my God. Just unbelievable. So guess what, everybody? Bondurant and Dodge SRT have partnered for the official high-performance driving school of the Dodge SRT. 
That is the revival of the muscle car in America right now. That's 392 Hemis. That's in the Challengers and the Chargers. We also have the Hellcat Charger and Challenger. Then you add the Vipers on top of that. That's the 2.0 TA. We don't mess around here. And just to top that off, we added a whole fleet of the Viper ACRs. So the two Titans have come together. The undisputed number one driving school in the world, Bondurant, has teamed up with the FCA Dodge SRT program and it's out of control. We are so excited to have not just the quality cars, not just the baby booners and nostalgic car, it's a real revival of the muscle car. And these kids are eating it up and we couldn't be happier teaching you how to fly these cars. Yeah. And Alan, we're gonna teach you how to race this ACR. And I'm going to teach you how to drive that ACR. I mean, it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> so, by the way, car enthusiasts, don't forget, it's the Bob Bondurant School of High Performance Driving and the Bondurant Racing School right here in Phoenix, Arizona. We're having so much fun with these Dodges, these Challengers, these Chargers, the Hellcats, the Vipers. It's out of control. We love getting you in control. And you might even want to do the hashtag vipers in the desert because this is where the vipers have landed their permanent home here at the Bondurant School of High Performance Driving. If it's your car, why not make it your interior? Transform the look, feel, and quality of your interior with cat skin leather, the world leader in custom automotive interiors. Visit catskin.com today to find out how easy and affordable it is to get a cat skin premium leather interior for your vehicle. Cat skin, express, transform, drive. This thing is so cool, but let's find a better color for this segment, maybe yellow, yeah. Now last year, Alan interviewed celebrities and industry influencers on the Shell pioneering performance stage right out in front of the Las Vegas Convention Center Center Hall. I was one of those that he interviewed, and in case you missed it, well, here it is. Joining me right now is Chris Duke from Motors TV. Chris, how you doing, brother? Good, Alan. As always, Mr. Man, you, co-host. And you got a big voice, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we do a TV show together that you started about seven years ago. Just right? started season seven. You've been on for, what, four or five episodes yeah, now? Yeah, you know what? I'm yeah. having a lot of fun. And, you know, people love you, man. You're like the honest kind of car guy, mechanic guy that everybody wants to have work on their car but can't because you're always yeah. working on everybody else's car. Hey, so yeah. how are you helping? Uh, I'm the guy that <laughs> test drives cars and takes people to our next episode, I think, John Hennessy's Garage, right? Yeah, and well, I guess. You yeah. haven't told me. Well, that's, You go that's, out and you film these things. That's right. We've done a lot of fun things together, and you keep on wrenching away on, of course, the project Jeep that's here at SEMA in Covercraft's booth. And it was here last year, but it looks nothing like it did last year. It's completely different. Hood, doors, wheels everything. That's what's interesting about the Jeep Wrangler. It's a Jeep Wrangler four-door. You can reconfigure these things, you know, hard tops, soft tops, short doors, short fenders. Yeah. Aftermarket for it is crazy, so there's no shortage of ways you can customize it and make it look different year after year, is week the, after week, because you just pop these things off. Did you get the supercharger on it for SEMA? Yeah, we didn't take it off, brother. No, I mean, but you, that's one. That's the episode coming out too, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, that's the next episode. Yeah. Is uh, yeah, how to install so you're a pro charger? You're asking me what I did. I'm asking you what you did. That's funny. Motors TV, by the way, in over 190 million homes in the U.S. and Canada, because of the mass super distribution of Time Warner Cable and all these cable companies, Tough TV and that's huge. also online. Uh, Apple TV and uh, Roku. The, the idea was that you wanted to make the show to where you could take a craftsman toolbox full of tools, an average Tool guy, guy, an average guy or gal could just go into their toolbox and do everything you do at their house, and that's what you do on the TV show. So no fancy, you yeah. know, this, that, and the other, just tools, regular tools. Yeah, and that's why I started it. That's the appeal of it. It's shot in a two-car garage, 
I'm on my back, you know, the vehicle's lifted up on jack stands just like everybody else, using hand tools that you can get down to your local Sears store and doing everything, installing all these products that are featured here at the SEMA show on these vehicles. Yep. That's why we started it. Well, you've got uh, seven years under your belt, seven seasons, and I'm on the new new show, which I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. Thank you for letting me join you on that show. You're my new tool girl. Oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah well, I, I do have fun, and it's, you know, TV is a different yeah. animal, but we can take people on the ride and as an automotive improvement show. So anyway, uh, Covercraft booth, the Jeep is in there. You had it wrapped yeah. with a kind of a wild red camouflage. Yeah, ape wraps. Yeah, yeah Troy Downey. He Trying wrapped a ton of vehicles here at the show, too. That's the thing about wrapping these days. You can wrap a whole vehicle. You could take a Jeep like Motors Jeep. It was all red, and it was a different vehicle last year right. than it is this year, even though it's the same vehicle. Right. Completely new look, flavor, big wheels, bigger wheels and tires, shorter doors. Took the hard yeah. top off, soft top on. Right. And did a nice job, by the way. Yeah, I mean, even if you had a vinyl cutter, all the graphics that was on the Jeep last year is something that I did in-house, just because I have some skills right. to be able to do that. Yep. But So this is taking it to the next level and printing whatever you want in full color, and putting it on the vehicle just like you would paint, and it looks like paint. It's got that, you know, gloss cover uh, that just looks like, uh, you know, expensive paint job. That's exactly yeah, right. You can the change the color of the whole vehicle, which is nice. Yeah. That's Chris Duke. The show is Motors TV. You can find it 24-7 on demand at motors.tv, and that's the great thing about it. He's got a few episodes that have a half a million views, which is great. I hope that some of our new ones where we're doing some test drives and things will you know, be that successful as well on Season 7 of yeah. Motors TV. Thank you, brother. Right, thank you, Alan. My co-host, Motors. I'm his co-host. What am I talking about? I'm Motors, and then he co-hosts with me on the drive every weekend. Thank you, Chris. Parts. Brought to you by Craftsman. The Extreme Grip Hand Tool lineup from Craftsman is designed to go the extra mile when it comes to rounded and strip fasteners. One of those tools is this five-piece wrench set that is unlike any other set of wrenches you have ever owned. They feature an adjusting lever and dual-size open ends which give you that extra bit of grip. Now we've all been there with those old rusted out fasteners where you just can't find the right size because it's so deteriorated. Well, the Extreme Grip's adjusting lever locks on to fill up the gap and break loose nuts and bolts with up to five times the gripping power. This five piece set fits 12 different inch and metric sizes ranging from 3 8 to 5 8 inch and 10 to 16 millimeters. The silver handles are made from alloy steel and features an offset head for better clearance from your workspace. With a lifetime warranty, you just can't go wrong. Craftsman.com has all of the details, or just head on down to your local Sears store and pick them up today. So you've got a winch for your off-road Jeep, truck, or SUV. A winch to go for your ATV. But what about your trailer? Well, our friends over at Super Winch have got you covered there too. Trailer winches are different from regular winches because they have instant stop motors, longer remotes, and 100% load holding brakes. Their new S-Series trailer winches come in three sizes, 3,500, 5,500, and 7,500 pounds. I've got the 5,500 right here with the synthetic rope as opposed to their steel wire rope option, which is a quarter inch diameter 60 foot rope. It will pull up to 5,500 pounds with its 3.5 horsepower magnet motor driven through its all steel three stage planetary gearbox at 24 feet per minute. A Super Winch exclusive innovative roller hoss features two stainless steel rollers and the winch's two-hole drum prevents the rope from detaching from the drum for added safety. It includes a 30-foot handheld remote and an optional wireless remote is also available. Covered by an industry best limited lifetime warranty, three years on the solenoid, this is the trailer winch to get. Go to superwinch.com to check out their complete line of winches. Now everybody has heard of Super Swamper and their famous Bogger Mud Terrain Tires. The company that makes them is called Interco Tire. They also make tires for agricultural, ATV, racing, and light truck. Now what we have here on our 2014 Jeep Wrangler project vehicle for Motors TV is called the Vortrack All-Terrain Tire with the Swamper wheels. Now the Vortrack Tire has all the great features you'd expect from a great all-terrain tire, such as a tight tread pattern for good stability, long tread life, and to keep those rocks from getting stuck. It also has a lot of siping to provide good traction in wet weather, snow, and ice conditions. The advanced tread design keeps your ride running smooth and quiet while still looking aggressive on the road. Now for more information on Interco's wheels and tires, just head on over to intercotire.com. E3 
every Diamond Fire spark plugs are the most powerful spark plugs you can buy. They deliver a more complete fuel burn, more power, better economy, and reduced emissions. E3 Diamond Fire spark plugs at auto parts and lawn and garden stores everywhere. Letters brought to you by E3 spark plugs, born to burn. Hey there, and welcome to Letters. Now, as you can probably tell, I'm having way too much fun with our Jeep Wrangler project vehicle. There's just so much aftermarket out there, it's crazy. And I'm having a blast showing you guys how to modify them. Now, before I get to your letters, just a quick reminder to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And by the way, I'm loving my new shirt from Genuine Hot Rod Hardware. Now, our first letter comes from Omar, who wrote in and asked, I'm an American, 100% disabled Vietnam veteran living in Germany and have imported a 2008 Mustang Bullet. I've installed long tube headers, an X-pipe, and a cat-back exhaust kit. Do I need a new tune for these upgrades? If so, where can I order such a tune? Omar, first, thank you for your service to our great country. You should definitely get a new tune when you make upgrades like those. You can get one from a number of sources easily found online. Now next up is Cameron. He wrote in and asks, I have a Chevy S10 Blazer and I noticed it was leaking coolant from the radiator. The drain plug was broken, so I went to the parts store and got a new one. I don't know how to get the old drain plug out. Well, hey Cameron, it sounds like you need to get an extractor like one of these from Craftsman to remove the old one. Now you can pick these up at your local Sears store or online at craftsman.com. And finally, Raphael asks, I have a 2002 GMC Sierra 3500 that's blowing white smoke and didn't pass the California smog check. I'm pretty sure it's the fuel injectors. I took it to the dealer and they want $5,000 to repair it. It has 220,000 miles on it. What would you suggest I do? Well, white or blue smoke typically means an engine is burning oil. Now, you didn't say if it was diesel or gasoline, but if it's gas, you need to inspect the spark plugs first. Oil-soaked spark plugs indicate serious oil burning issues. You can run a compression check and a cylinder leak down test and make your decision from there. Now, white smoke with a diesel can either mean it's burning oil or there are injection pump and injector issues. Now, thanks to Omar, Cameron, and Raphael for sending in your letters. They get free E3 spark plugs for their ride as my way of saying thanks. Now to learn more about E3 spark plugs and their diamond fire technology, or to see if they're available for your ride, just check out e3sparkplugs.com. Well, that's it for our 2014 Jeep Wrangler project vehicle. And as always, it's a good idea to protect your investment from the elements with a Covercraft car cover. Now to find out more about all the products we installed on this Jeep in this episode, and to learn more about the tools that we use, just head on over to our website. I'll catch you next time on motors for a 2014 jeep wrangler jk project vehicle and as and as always hey as always it's a good idea to protect your investment from the elements with the cover crap car cover is it on there yes it, it was fine <laughs> that was fine it, it looked kind of <laughs> and here's chance Ha, 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 ha.